Hello students! Today we will focus on or we will discuss about word problems on rational algebraic expressions which are transformable into quadratic equations. So this is a difficult part in problem solving where in you encounter uh, rational algebraic expressions. Okay. So let's start with the first problem. You have two factories can produce a shipment of face masks in six hours. Working alone, the slower factory would take nine hours longer than the faster factory to do the job. How many hours would it take each factory working alone to do the job? Okay, so we need to let the following. Let T as the time of faster factory can do the job alone, then T plus 9 is the time of slower factory can do the job alone. The higher the time, the slower the factory. So therefore, if you add 9 time plus 9 to your time, they are slower. So, in symbol, rate is 1 work over Time. So, the rate of the, the faster factory is 1 over t, which is the time. And for the faster, uh, for the slower factory, you have 1 over t plus 9. According to the problem, they will work, work together. That means you will add the two symbols for their work. And it, and it is equal to 1 work over how many hours can they uh, work together? It's 6 hours. So this is now your equation. The rate of the faster factory plus the rate of the slower factory is equal to 1 work over the time they will finish the work, which is 6 hours. So your equation is 1 over t plus 1 over t plus 9 is equal to 1 over 6. So we will multiply this by the LCD which is, which is t times t plus 9 times 6. The all, uh, all the denominators because they don't have common factors. Okay, so to multiply, uh, just remove the denominator in the multiplier. So for the first one, Remove t. So your multiplier for the first one is t plus 9 times 6. Plus, for the second one, the second numerator, which is 1, just remove t plus 9. So you have t times 6 is equal to, for the third, just remove third one is equal to 1 over 6, the third, the numerator 1 there. Uh, just remove 6. So you need to multiply t times t plus 1 to your uh, numerator 1. Okay, so this is now your symbol. Simplify further. 1 times t plus 9 times 6 is 60 plus 54. Plus the second expression, you have 1 or the second term, you have 1 times t times 6. So you have plus 60 is equal to 1 times t times t plus 9 is equal to t squared plus 90. Actually, the 1 there is not needed. Just multiply the blue uh, text. Okay, so your 1 there is not needed. But I just show it to you for you to understand that we multiply, we multiply the LCD to the numerator. Okay, so, simplify further. The left side, you have 12t plus 54 is equal to the right side, t squared plus 90. Then, transfer 12t and positive 54. So, you will combine. It becomes 0 is equal to t squared minus 3t minus 54. Where did I get 
negative 3t or minus 3t. Your 12t there becomes negative 12t. They have different signs when you transfer. So it becomes subtract. So you will subtract the two similar terms. So it is negative 3t. Okay, so this is factorable. We use factoring to solve this quadratic equation. It is now in the form of quadratic equation. So the factors are t minus 9 times t plus 6. By zero product property, we will equate each factor by zero. So t minus 9 is equal to zero and t plus 6 is equal to zero. Then uh, just transfer negative 9, it becomes positive 9, and positive 6, it, it becomes negative 6. Or the correct process is addition property of equality. But I just make it simple, so just transfer and change the sign. So this is your answer, the positive uh, 9, because negative 6, you cannot have time as negative. So the final answer is, the faster factory can do the work alone in 9 hours, while the slower can do it in 18 hours. How did I get that? Just add 9 from T, which is 9 plus 9 is equal to 18 hours for the slower one. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to next problem. For the second problem, you have two rescue boats that have the same speed in still water travel in opposite directions in a river with a current of 5 km per hour. The rescue boat going upstream departed 1 hour before the boat going downstream. It means the boat going up, upstream goes first. A period a period after the boat going downstream has departed. A radio conversation between the boat indicated that one boat is 44 km upstream. So this is your distance for your first boat. And the other boat is 75 km downstream. So this is your second uh, distance for the boat going downstream. Approximately to the nearest tenths of kilometer per hour, the speed or approximate we need to approximate maybe this is not exact uh, the speed of each boat in still water still water means not moving water so without current so we have current here so we need to solve for that by letting the following so let r is the rate of rescue boat in still water while r plus 5 is the rate of re rescue boat going downstream in kilometer per hour y plus 5 so your current is 5 if your boat goes with the current you need to add the speed of that current which is 5 kilometer per hour because it helps the boat to move while the r minus 5 the rest the rescue boat going upstream in kilometer per hour. So this is the rate of the rescue boat going upstream. So why it's minus 5? Because you are against the current, against the flow of the water. So you need to subtract the speed of that current to the speed of the boat. Okay, so that's why it's R minus 5. So this is our uh, representation. Okay, now, since our distance is equal to rate times time, or r times t, then our time, by uh, manipulating the formula, our time is distance over rate. So we will use this equation and then tabulate what are the given. Okay, so this is your tabulation. So, boat going up, upstream, based on the problem, we have distance of 44, based on the data. And boat going downstream is 75. 
uh, kilometers. And the rate of the upstream is R minus 5 because it is against the current. And then both going downstream is R plus 5 because it goes with the flow or the current. So the time is D over R. So our time is 44 over R minus 5. And for the, for the downstream, you have 75 over R plus 5. According to the problem, this time is ahead of 1R. Why ahead of 1R? Because according to the problem, the rescue boat going upstream departed first, 1R after, or 1R before, before the, the second boat, which is downstream. So, it goes ahead. So, to... For them to be equal, the time of upstream and downstream, we need to add this one also. So we have 75 over R plus 1, R plus 5 plus 1. So the time of the downstream, we need to add 1 for them to be equal. Because we need, we need to have equations. So for them to be equal, that will be our addition plus 1 for the time of downstream. So... So, we have now the equation 44 over R plus minus 5 the first time, the time for the upstream is equal now to the time of the downstream boat. But it has plus 1. So, this is now your working equation. You need to work on this. So, we will multiply this by the LCD which is R minus 5 and R plus 5. R minus 5 times R plus 5. So, the same process as we did a while ago in the first problem, we will just multiply the numerator, then remove the denominator. So, we will remove for the for 44 the denominator R minus 5. So, you will just multiply R plus 5. So, you have 44 times R plus 5. Copy equals. Then, for the numerator 75, you will just multiply R minus 5. Just remove R plus 5. So, 75 times R minus 5. Plus, the last term which is 1, plus 1, since it doesn't have denominator, multiply all the LCD. So, you have 1 times both R minus 5 times R plus 5. Okay, so by distribution... And FOIL method, so for the first and second term, we have uh, 44R plus 220 is equal to, for the second one, 75R minus 375 plus, here use FOIL method or the FL only, first and last only because we don't have middle term for some indifference of binomial. So, you have R squared, R times R, R squared, and negative 5 times positive 5, negative 25. So, that's the shortcut for multiplication of sum and difference. Okay, so simplify further. At the right side, you will combine negative 375 and negative 25. So, it becomes positive, a uh, negative 400. Then, arrange the quadratic term, linear term, and constant term. So, it should be in standard form. So, at the left side, you need to transfer that. So, minus 44R and minus 220. So, it becomes R squared plus 31R minus 620. So, 75R minus 44R is 31R. And... Negative 400 minus 220, they are both negative. Therefore, add, then copy the signs, you have negative 620. So, I think this, this is not factorable because we need to approximate. So, we will just use quadratic formula. R is equal to negative B, positive or negative, is square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. 
So, our B is 31. So, negative 31. Positive or negative, 31 squared minus 4 times our A is 1 and our C is negative 620. All over 2 times 1. If you're going to simplify uh, the process, it is now R is approximately negative 31 plus or minus the square root of 3441 all over 2. Then, it is now R is approximately negative 31 plus or minus 58.660 over 2. Okay, so if you're going to use calculator, you can, fi you can uh, get the speed. So, the speed of each rescue boat in still water is R is equal to 13.8 km per hour. And then, we need to disregard the negative speed. The negative 31 minus 58.66. It's negative. So, where did you get that 13.8? So, it's negative 31 plus 58.66 divided by 2. So, you get that. Just separate the plus and minus 58.66. So, 1 is positive and 1 is negative. So, just get the positive because we don't have negative speed. Okay, that's all. I hope you learned something uh, from this uh, discussion. And then don't forget to like and subscribe in this channel. And you can repeat this uh, video again and again for you to understand it clearly. Bye!